What's up guys, Collector B here and happy Sunday. We are back with a fantastic toy haul and some other goodies. So yeah, so if you guys are new, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. And all of you who keep coming back, we love you. So uh, yeah, so yesterday we decided to go to Nashville Comic Con. Um, main reason was to see Johnny Young Bosch, aka Adam, aka Ichigo, aka a long list of voices. Um, so we went down there. I was gonna film, do a bunch of stuff, but we ended up grabbing quite a bit of art to where we had to uh, carry it around, and so we didn't really film. So sorry, guys, I didn't really film. Um, it was really good. There was a lot of people there. The guests were okay. I mean, we really went, like I said, to see Johnny Young Bosch. Um, and there was a lot of art, a lot of really good art. And But the toys, not, not great. I mean, there's quite a few pops, but nothing really crazy. So we actually didn't pick up any uh, toys or pops or anything down there. But we did get a bunch of art. So, um yeah, so we're gonna. I'm gonna show you what we got from San Diego Comic or <laughs> <laughs> from Nashville Comic Con. I wish San Diego uh -huh. Comic Con. Um, and then we will get into these unboxings, which super cool, really excited, and we have a story with this one over here. Um, so I'm gonna move this stuff real quick. So, like I said, we went to see Johnny Young Bosch, and we got there, and we got pretty. We were pretty far up in line. Um, we were like one of the first ones there but they had a vip section which of course i didn't buy for some reason and that line started getting big they got to go in early so we're sitting there and we're like oh man these lines are gonna be pretty long hopefully we don't have to sit here for like three hours to wait for them well guess what we walked right in and there was like five people in his line yeah which was fantastic and do you want to know why guys because of chuck Norris. Chuck Norris was there and apparently everyone and their mother went to go see Chuck Norris yesterday. His line was outrageous. So thank you, Chuck Norris. Thank you, Peter. Yes. So super awesome. Um, So I love Chuck Norris now because uh, it was super in and out easy. So boom, I did get my Bleach Ichigo full mask chase pop signed and my adam black power ranger sign so super awesome there he was a super nice guy um loved talking to him it was it was great it was super awesome and yeah so we got some really cool stuff from him which is cool so now i do have three of the power rangers signed we've got kimberly billy and adam so super cool there so was really happy to get this um we're gonna put this off to the side just so i don't mess it up and then again my favorite pop which is awesome he is my favorite is Bleach, and Ichigo is my favorite. So it was really cool to get that signed. Um, I did buy a print there as well, and boom, he did sign this as well. So we got it framed this morning. Super awesome. Again, that half mask, really awesome. So again, he just did this one for free for us too. We got the print, and he was like, do you want me to sign it? And we're like, uh, sure, sounds good. So got that. Really excited about that one. Um, and then, like I said, we got a bunch of art. So I got these little smaller pieces here, which are really cool. We've got a Chainsaw Man one with uh, Denji and Pokita on there. And then you can see Makima in his chainsaw. Yes. Right? So really cool. Was really excited to get this. I believe it is a cover on one of the mangas <clears throat> for this. So really cool. Um, and the prices on this stuff was really good. We got mm -hmm. all three of these, which you'll see. Here is power. We got all three of these for like twenty dollars, which was awesome. The ring then, light, man, is the ring lights messing. Yeah, there up. you go. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. So there's power, super awesome there. And then the third one I got just so I could get these for twenty was a bleach one, uh, really old. This one is probably from like the first or second season. So but these were only cool. seven bucks a piece. They were only seven too. bucks a piece, or we got three for twenty, so we saved a whole dollar, dollar. there. Really awesome. <laughs> Um, and then I'm not going to bring these out, but I'm going to show you guys in pictures. So we did get three other big pieces of art, which are fantastic. Two of them are mine. One is the wipes. And again, we got all three of these for 40, which was crazy, crazy. So we've got this Kobe Bryant one right here, which is super awesome. Kobe Bryant is, I mean, still my favorite basketball player ever. Um, 
which just looks really, really awesome. So we got this one. Then we got this TMNT Jedi one. Boom. Really super cool. The more and more I look at this, it's just, it's really awesome. I mean, the lightsabers are great. They look awesome in their cloaks. Really dark. Artist is really awesome. He did sign all these for us as well. And then this third one, which, I mean, it might be my favorite, but it's not mine. Of course, the wife gets it. Boom! John Wick. Super awesome. I mean, just really, really cool sitting there. He got the pup on there. Just really cool. So that will go into her room. So we haven't got these framed yet, but we will get these framed and I'll get them up. So when we do some room tours, you will see those. But really, really cool. Um, they were called Black Label Exclusives. Um, so they do have a BLX, sorry, BLExclusive.com. I'll leave the link in the description. So you guys can go check their stuff out really cool very good prices um super nice people so so yeah so that was um that was our comic con it was really good i mean we walked around looked at a lot of stuff they had a lot of cosplayers like i said a lot of art um the guests again nothing crazy we really just went to see johnny young bosch and i mean it was great and we got a beer there which yeah. was fantastic we got to walk around comic con with a beer so that was fantastic so Super happy we went to this one. Uh, we went to Alabama last year, and then we got to go to Nashville this year. So super excited. These Comic-Cons are so fun. Everyone is so nice there. Um, it just brings a huge group of people together. It's really fantastic. So if you guys have not gone to one, and you guys are kind of on the fence about going to them, I would definitely go, especially these small ones. They're really good. People are super nice. So we had a good time, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. So... That was our finds uh, at Comic-Con, and now we'll show, I mean, I got a bunch of stuff this week, but this is all we're going to fit in today. So, as you can see, we have a new Power Ranger, we have a new Ninja Turtle TMNT monster, and we have the new Spidey, and then we have one of these VHS Power Rangers. So, we are going to start with the VHS Power Ranger, because I have a story here. So, boom. They came out with these, uh, they came out with black yellow and red first and i opened them on here for you guys vhs style nobody was into them blah blah, blah. well now they release the white and the green the pink and the blue and now because the white and the green are out everybody wants them gotta get them right so um i have been looking for these for quite a while um luckily i did run into a walmart and i found the green one and this one, the green one, we are not going to open up yet, just yet. Um, but as you can see with this box here, yeah, I did buy this. You opened it already. I did buy this <laughs> like this, okay? The top is open. The bottom is open. Now you're like, why did you buy that? Somebody had to swap that figure. You know what? You're probably right. The crazy thing is we went to Walmart this morning. I found another one. It was open on the bottom again, like again, like just the white one. I don't get it. So the reason why I bought this is while I was at the store, like I said, it was popped open, but I could see a white ranger in there. So I know there's a white ranger in here. If it's the right so one, you think. who knows? So we are going to pop it open because it's already popped open and we'll see if I got anything in here or if it just came open. I mean, it's really weird, too, because, like, this is open, but this is not popped, okay? And then this is open. I, I don't know if these just got damaged in shipping or if somebody, you know, screwed me. But we'll see. I don't care. It's $16. We'll see what we got. So here is... We've got the coin. So that's in there. So that's a plus. And we have Saba, which is supposed to be all white because they do not color these in so and i believe that is all he comes with so so far so good um i was a little worried but like i said i could see his helmet in there when uh the box is open so i figured worst comes to worst i get a different white ranger but boom he's opened and wow i should have bought the other one that was open too so it is this one, which is great. So I did not get screwed, even though it was open. Um, but the paint on this guy looks horrendous. His helmet is pretty bad. But this is actually a really cool, little decent figure. So I'm pretty excited. So there he is. 
Um, as you see, his helmet's pretty beat. I mean, you have to get in there to see. You guys might not be able to see it because of the gold. Um, but there is some nasty marks all over his helmet there. But it looks good. So these figures, though, you know, I keep seeing everybody just freaking out about this one and the green one. And I see people spending $50 on these things. And they're $16. And they're not Lightning Collection, okay? They're not Legacy Collection. These are a basic figure are they cool yes i love them i think they're really cool i got a bunch of zords from my buddy the other day you guys will see uh on a later video but they're not worth more than what they're going for so to me i don't really understand it i mean they do have limited articulation they don't come with a ton of accessories i understand it's tommy um but you know it is what it is so that's that's what you got you have this joint here to where his leg will bend out and then obviously you have the knee joint you have nothing ankle wise mm -hmm. so um that is what it is no ab crunch i mean he can sit but his ab is not moving at all um you don't have a bicep swivel you do have the shoulder and the elbow there uh no wrist joint at all so i mean they're not anything crazy you do get some movement in the head which is cool a little up and down um but you know, they're, they are cool little figures, I will say, and I like them, but just don't pay an arm and a leg for this. Seriously, it's not worth it. I honestly think the best thing about these is that their weapons kind of scale with Lightning Collection, and if you wanted to, it's basically like a uh, DIY weapon to where you could repaint this however you wanted it's more like artist proof yeah there you go that's what i meant to say good <clears throat> job look at you you're yep. a collector now bam so i mean there he is and they do come with those coins which is cool they do have a hard time standing at points just because you can't do much with the ankles um why doesn't he come with a gun he never had one never the white one doesn't oh, and the I green one know. doesn't so um but i like it so i didn't get mm -hmm. screwed which is nice so i'm pretty happy about that so um that's not bad it is cool i mean I, I do like it i'm not sitting here saying i don't like it um and i'll i will probably get another one to keep in box but just i'm not going to spend 50 dollars on it so it's a 16 dollars figure so really cool though so that's awesome we did get the green and the pink like i said but uh we will open those at a different time so boom at least we didn't get screwed mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah so both of them I have seen have been open, so I, I don't know what's going on with that. So let's just keep going into Power Rangers. Um, boom, this is Lightning Collection, and this is Mezgog, Mezogog. So uh, I'll be honest, I have seen clips of him on YouTube, but I did not watch Dino Thunder at all. So Wow. Um, I have really no idea who he is besides the clips I've seen him fighting the Power Rangers. But I think he looks really cool. Um I don't collect a ton. You know, I don't have any Dino Thunders. Well, that's a lie. I have the black one. Um, but I, as villains come out, I do really like some some monsters. So I'm okay with this. So we got this guy from Amazon. I have not seen him in store yet. Um, I know some people have, I believe. But I have not been that lucky so i did pre-order him off amazon and we did get him last week um i did pre-order the black dino thunder as well which is tommy but i was late on that so i probably won't get that for a while so but boom there we go how cool oh no not my ichigo okay so we have our cool box here Again, I still not a huge fan of these. I actually need to grab that box back because I'm not sure what all he comes with. Two effects. Okay. And that just goes on his hand. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So here we go. We have our nice Power Ranger packaging here. Okay. all right cool i think that is it so you've got two 
fist hand, which if you can call those fists since he has three fingers. Two uh, Velociraptor hands there. Oh, yeah. Boom. And then you get two effects. Um, I'm not 100% sure where this other effect goes. This one goes on his hand, but sure, whatever. The effects are okay. They're not bad. I'm curious if his fist just stays on and you put that on. It looks like it. So, boom, you get that effect, which goes on his hand. I believe you'll have to put these hands on to do it because I think the hands he has on have claws. Um, and then you have this effect right there. Which I don't know where that goes at all. Mezgog! Oh, he's pretty dope looking. He looks... I think he looks better than the box. Oh, he's pretty... Yeah, he's pretty cool. I'm pretty stoked for this guy. He's all bent like crazy, though. Look at those feet. Jeez. I know. McFarlane. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's he's pretty cool. Honestly, I think uh, I might have a bum ankle though. Um, I think they do a really good job with these villains. He feels a lot like Finster to mm. me, which is really cool because I love Finster. But so you see, there he is. Um, I like his outfit. These things are kind of interesting. Um, his claws are really cool looking. Yeah, why doesn't he have red on his other hands? Yeah, I don't know, because his claws, they're not showing his claws, I don't know. I do know, like, it, when I was watching things, he kind of changes a little bit, so, um, again, I don't know a huge amount about him. His face looks really cool, I wish... You can. Oh, you can. My goodness, well, I'll just say, wait till we get there, it? so, um, but yeah, I mean, I like his outfit, it's cool because he kind of looks like, it almost reminds me of, like, Shang-Chi, you know, he kind of looks like, a not Shang-Chi the person, but, like, he kind of looks like he has, like, robes on, so he's, like, in Demon Slayer or he something. He looks more like a Jedi. Minus yeah, that's hood. true. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, I would love if he had, like, a hood, mm -hmm. though. That would be really, really cool. Um, but he looks really good. I actually don't really have an issue. The paint apps actually look really good on this. Um, my one ankle, though, I think is a little bum. As you can see, I, I couldn't get it to go flat. But looks like he has Jack Sparrow boots on. Yeah, he kind of does look like a pirate, too. So um, I'm kind of having trouble talking today. So so here he is. Um, I like it. I think it's really cool. I Again, I may have to go back and just get more info on this guy because he does look really, really cool. Um, so let's see. We'll go articulation first. I wanted to see. I'm curious how. Okay. Okay, that's not terrible. I was curious how well mm. he was going to be able to get his feet up because of that, but he can do really good. My legs are crazy on this one, though. Um, so you're not really restricted there. He can do the splits, which is really nice. He does have some good joints. Yeah, this ankle is... I actually think it's backwards. Yeah, the whole joint is backwards. So I might have got a really bad one because you can see how loose this is. Mm. Yeah, so I may just have to mess around with it. We'll see. Um, as far as his arms, they're pretty good here. He doesn't have a bicep swivel, but I think it's just because of these pieces here. So that's, you know, kind of a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. He's got good wrist joints. Um, his ab crunch, here's he's not going to have much of ab crunch, and you can really see the split yes. back there. So kind of a bummer there. He can't really sit down very well, and I think that's mostly just because of all this. Um, but his head, wow, that's interesting. So his head, like, as I was going forward, that whole piece just, and look at his, like, his arms, like, it's really connected in there. Um, his head does go around pretty good, and he does have jaw articulation, which is really <laughs> cool. I think that's awesome. I mean, I did not think he was going to have it, but I think he looks really good like that, and then mm. if he really wanted to. So again, just little jaw articulation like this on a small figure, that's fantastic. So I do like it. Um, I'm kind of bummed out my ankles is a little messed up, but as far as accessories... He doesn't really come with much, so let me, does this go, yeah, okay, 
So that's what it's supposed to do. So when you take off his claws, you get uh, the fist hand. And this is supposed to go on there. I don't know if it's going to stay. Probably don't have it on all the way. I don't really like that. I'm not really a huge fan of that. I probably mm -hmm. didn't put it on correctly either. Um, but I don't know. I just don't really need to use it. This thing, I don't know where it goes. On top like, of his head. This guy. Almost. I mean, I guess you could just kind of like put it there. Those things, those effects are so stupid. Yeah, they're not very good. I'm not a huge fan of these effects. I actually am not. These actually look okay on him, his fist hands like, I like that. like the red. But I do though. like the claws. Yeah, so for me, I'm fine with not even posing him with effects and just giving him some claw hands. But now I'm not really sure how we are going to pose him. But he is really cool. I'm actually pretty excited about this guy. I don't really understand. He looks like a ninja. And what's interesting, though, you guys will have to let me know, because I know I have some buddies here that might be watching that watch Power Rangers more than I do, because I was really just into Mighty Morphin. Um, is he supposed to be a dinosaur? Because it's from Dino Thunder? You know? Yeah. Who knows? He is not going to want to stand, though, because of my bum ankle. Oh, come on. You're so close. He's so close. I can feel it. There he is. You're going to knock him over. Yeah, I probably will. But he's really cool. I actually like it. I really like that face sculpt a lot. I think it's really cool. And the jaw articulation is fantastic. So there's Mezgog. So I think you can probably order him off Big Bad Toy Store for sure. Um, and probably Amazon still. I think the only one that has like really sold out from that is the black dino thunder one but i think he's still on big bad toy store so boom okay so we have two more things today um we also have a giveaway today don't we yes we do so af well sometime tonight um after this video is posted i will go on instagram and we will do the wheel of fortune and you will get whoever wins again Boom, these two Batmans. Now, to enter, it is already closed, so you'll have to wait for the next giveaway if you didn't hop into this one, but I will pick the winner tonight for this. So, super excited. Thank you all for who entered, and thank you all for, you know, just liking our stuff. It's fantastic. So, uh, we'll just keep going. Boom, Spider-Man, Marvel Legends, Game Burst, Spider-Man 2. So, I uh, got this off Pulse. It was kind of expensive. It was like 30 something dollars for a legend. Ew. Yeah, it's kind of stupid. Um, but, you know, I got this because, one, it's Spider-Man. Um, two, Spider I do like this suit. And three, I don't have this one open. How dare you? Yeah. So, <clears throat> I will bring this out. This was mine. Boom. Ooh. So, there's the first one. And then there's the box of the second one. Um, like I said, when I had these ones, I just never opened them because I really like the window boxes. I really like the art. The art's not too much different on these. Um, obviously, you have the all white box, which is really cool. And then the back is different. I like the back of this one a lot better. Um, so we'll have to see how this one looks compared to the old Marvel Legends one. Uh, but I am pretty excited to open this. I love me some Spidey, man. We Would did. you open it, though, if it was in a window box? Or no? Uh, probably because I already have that one. That one. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, it's hard for me to open up Spidey stuff, guys. I have a lot of Spidey stuff open, but I just... The art on some of the Spidey stuff is fantastic. We did get the Doc Ock um, Aunt May. I almost said Mary Jane. Aunt May VHS box. Super cool. So awesome. It's over there. Maybe I'll grab it. But really cool. Oh. Uh, I just can't get used to it. But look at at least. It's like they separated some accessories. But this is what doesn't make sense. They do that for Spider-Man, but not for Power Rangers. And it's still Hasbro. So 
Um, and I keep throwing these boxes and I have to figure out what they have. So it looks like three, four, maybe five web effects and fist hands, which is really cool. So let's see what we got. Oh, cool. I'm going to hang him from the ceiling. I love when they give you these ones, though, that are kind of, you know, flimsy as webs. I actually like those. I would much rather every Spider-Man come with that so I can just hang him everywhere than, like, the actual spider web pieces. So you do get that, which looks pretty good. I which, do like um, that it's one. translucent instead See, of so white. white. Yeah, exactly. Gray. So he came with two in mm -hmm. this one. But yes, I do like the translucent, so that's really cool. So that's a little different there. Oh my goodness. Okay. So then you have this one, which I guess you could put over, over a, a villain, villain, which is pretty cool. Ooh. I do like that. This one did not come with that. So you're getting a lot more web effects um, than the original one had. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I actually like that too. Um, then you have just a smaller web here. And then you get a bigger web, a little wider. These are okay. I'm not really a huge fan of these, but this is really cool, actually. I'm pretty if you did, it. like, a Dio... Oh, yeah, these are know, perfect for that. You and put them on mm -hmm. the wall, obviously. Yeah, because I have a ton of these. Yeah. And then you have this one, which, uh, like, I've never got one of these like that. I think it's just, like, for his fist, maybe, hmm. or something. Yeah, so it's pretty small, so that's kind of cool. Put over a face. Ah, oh, probably. You're probably right. You're exactly right. I Man, that's why I married you, because you know more than I do. Look at that. So then you do get two fist hands, which are painted okay. Not amazing. The lines look good, but the white doesn't look that fantastic. So, so far you get more accessories, and you get two fist hands, yeah. which this one did come with two fist hands and came with two web shooting hands. So... Yeah, the white just doesn't look good, right? The yeah. red looks good, and the black looks good. Yeah. Just... All right, let's see Spidey. Oh, he only comes with one web shooting hand. Oh, he's tight. Paint looks pretty good. I already don't like the color. You don't the like red. the blue, do you? I know it's oh. the red. It looks too orange. Really? I that think... one's darker. Yeah, I like the darker blue mm. more. The symbol's different. I mean, we'll show all this. The eyes are different. And again, it's supposed to be a little bit different. Yeah. But, um, he's pretty cool, though. Mm -hmm. I, I am not... I am For me, it's more of the blue. I don't I don't know. It like. looks like he just sat in the sun too long. Except my ankles again. Okay. It's really well painted. So though. there he is. Yeah, the paint apps are actually really, really good on him. Um, as you can see, he does come with a... Um, I'm having so much difficulties with these today. His ankle is like the same, dude. This is driving me bananas. I'm going to snap it. I didn't know we were opening McFarlane's today. Stay. Okay, so um, the blue's a little off for me. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it, it looks good. I do like this Spidey. The paint apps are fantastic. He does look really good. Um, the web one web shooting hand, and then you just get an open hand, which is kind of interesting. They usually don't just give him an open hand, so that's cool. At least you get a different Spidey hand. Uh, the suit looks great, mm -hmm. honestly. I love the face. I think it looks awesome. But you can definitely see some big differences in these two figures which i mean obviously there's spider on the back though where there's paint chips yeah it's not terrible though mm -hmm. it's not nearly as bad as i expected most of it to be so um you know as far as articulation he's got this shin Ooh. joint here which is interesting um he does have toe joints which is great he does have thigh swivels which is great uh, he does have the bicep swivel. I mean, he's, they do a really good job with Spider-Man, I think. Um, and then his head up, down, and around. And as far as ab crunch, I mean, look at this. Jeez. 
that's what I love about Spider-Man figures, though, is, <clears throat> and a lot of Marvel Legends are like this, too, but, like, he, like, it's crazy. I love it. Um, so, really cool. I do like it. So, again, like I said, when you look at this, oh, see, that would have been cool to give him two of these open hands, like, so then we could have just been, like, why Nate your mother is <laughs> <laughs> so um but yeah like you can see um some of the big differences in this one and the initial release the colors are a lot different the spider symbol is different the faces the eyes on the face are a lot different um and then again this one didn't come with as many accessories as this one they did come with almost the exact same hands except he has this open hand. This one came with two web shooters and two fists. Um, so, I mean, they're they're both really cool. I do like that they changed it enough that you could get both of these. Mm -hmm. I know this one is a little bit more expensive right now, so um, there you go. But I like it. I really do. I don't know how I'm going to pose him. For now, we will do the Nate is dying pose, or your mother <laughs> is dying, not Nate. Um, but he looks great and these accessories are really cool so oh look at that and then yeah like you said this probably goes not on his face obviously but you know i'm just there you go guys like oh <laughs> he's done <laughs> i actually like those effects those effects are really cool and this is really cool too so i'm pretty excited about that so boom i like it i'm i'm down for this spidey i think it's actually really good i'm really surprised how much i actually like it it's cool now yeah. i gotta figure out who i'm gonna put those on someone you know? had a rough night this whoa <laughs> <laughs> yes he did so you guys have to let me know which one you guys think is better to me i like the colors on this one better mm -hmm. but i do really like everything that one came with and it's not terrible at all so boom so there we go so we are going to wrap up this video. We have one more thing, and I've been dying for this thing. I've been waiting for it for a long time. Figured I would see it in store, so I didn't pre-order, didn't buy it. Well, never saw it in store. So he popped back up on Target. Bam! We Ooh. have Invisible Man, TMNT, Donnie, Universal Monsters. So um, this pretty much completes this for me until they come out with Shredder. Only one I did not grab was April. Um... I kind of wish I didn't grab the splinter because I'm not a fan of the splinter anymore. And the Casey, to me, I know a lot of people really like it. I'm not really a huge fan of that one either. So I think the turtles are fantastic, though. I haven't had any issues with any of the turtles. But again, there you go. Boom, 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 boom. Down there. And then boom. What's crazy is they announced this guy a long time ago. And it took me forever to get him. Like I said, I had to order him off Target.com. Um... There is the other side. I'll read that back in a second. And then you're going to get a glare. Boom. There he is. And it says, you'll never see him coming. Donatello as the invisible man. Watch behind you, madman or genius. You decide. Catch him if you can. Once the bandages are peeled, the mystery will be revealed. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Look out his secrets under wraps. <laughs> I know, so stupid, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this. Uh, again, like I said, I'm curious what they do with Shredder. I keep hearing different things that they're going to do, uh, like Dracula and stuff like that. So, But I'm... I'm down for them to keep making these. I just, I don't know how many more of these I'm going to pick up. This was the one I really wanted. So, oh, he's, he's really cool looking. So, the background, this is kind of cool. Mm. That they give you that background. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. All right. So, he comes with double. I don't remember if the other ones did that. There he is. Look how cool he looks. I'm really excited to open this guy. Comes with a lot of accessories. Comes with a lot of hands. I mean, they all of them really did. So it's not like this is anything new. But these are cool. Like I said, the only one I did not pick up was April. I just... I still see her. 
at the store and I just don't like it at all. All right, so, oh, I forgot he came with those. <laughs> so we've got a ton of hands here. I'm gonna just pull these out. I'm, Jeez, that many hands? Oh, there's more. So, <clears throat> you have this hand. So you have, I think, is that the right one? Yeah. Yeah, so you have two of those, a set of those, which is cool. Um, kind of like grabbing hands to hold some things. Then you have another set of hands, which are a little bit wider than those ones. These are cool. And then you have two different hands. So they give you two, two sets and then they give you this one, which is kind of like a claw mm. hand, exactly. And then you get the pointer finger hand, which is really cool. Boom. Now you feel like number one. Kind of looks like the middle finger because yeah. he only has Because he only has three, three. exactly. <laughs> I was going to say that, but this is a family channel. Oh, sorry. Just kidding. I'm okay. But this is the coolest. Translucent feet how awesome hand. are those and then you also get translucent pair of hands Ooh. as well i think those look fantastic i'm so happy that they decided to do that i think it looks so cool i'm pretty impressed already boom boom okay so now you get his what are these called is it a beacon not a beacon a beaker Be well it's not a beaker Ger. though right it's pretty close but his beaker or whatever to mix stuff his chemicals his experiments then you get a i almost said a telescope microscope yes that's not a telescope guys <laughs> microscope which is really cool you do get this tgri book which is cool. The only thing I wish they would have done, like maybe made this open and had like what he was making um, in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or just on it. So that's cool. Pretty good accessories. Oh man, I have no idea what head we are going to display with this. So here is his hat. Which is really cool. I like the hat a lot. It's like Van Helsing. Whoop. Did you see that? Yeah. Did you get that on camera? Kind yeah. of. I'm, I'm struggle busting today. Then you get this face, which is really cool because there's just nothing inside of it because obviously he's invisible. The hair is kind of interesting. But I do really like that face a lot. Okay. And then you obviously get Donnie's staff, which looks really cool. I like the bandages all over it. even realize that on the back that's cool so that's interesting i bet you could take that shell off i'm not even gonna try he is really cool looking i like just like this i'm happy and i will definitely change some stuff out oh god you're not gonna stand for me either thank you donnie <clears throat> boom so first of all i think it looks great i love that head sculpt as well i love his coat he looks really good. He's got two other hands on, again, to hold stuff with those gloves on. Just really good detail. The goggles are awesome. Here might be my favorite part. Look at the shell when I turn Pizzas. it all the way around. It's translucent plus has pizzas in it. Oh, How cool is that? I really, really that like that. Cool. I think that is really cool. So like I said, I think you probably could take that off. I'm not going to try. I really don't even want to. Um, and there it is from the side. What is interesting is that, you know, they put the gloves on his hands here, but he does have translucent feet on already. With they hats. just have the wraps on. <clears throat> yeah. So really cool. Um, as far as articulation, though, this is where it's going to get a little iffy because this coat 
is pretty restricting. So really what I would say is you just need to bend this coat a little bit. Um, but he, you know, can move his knees up, no toe joint. He's going to be, he's, yeah, he's going to be hard to move around. Um, plus it's a NECA, so you should probably heat it apparently. Um, here we go. No bicep swivel, but his arms do move very well. Those are nice. And his, oh, cool. I almost cussed, but there we go. <coughs> so those do come off, which nice. I didn't realize, but that's really cool. That makes that head sculpt look really cool too as well awesome right mm -hmm. yeah um so that's cool his head can move pretty well it has a nice down and up which is really nice and like yeah goggles just go right back on which i'm digging those goggles so that means the goggles are interchangeable which is fantastic um i mean he has more of an ab crunch than most mcfarlands do which is crazy so um yeah i mean as far as articulation though you're gonna be a little limited unless you like kind of mess with all this quite a bit but let's do this because i want to see all this there is the head so you can show that again get these goggles over his hair though i did so you can interchange the goggles if you wanted to <laughs> he looks goofy right there this doesn't right? make sense when have they ever had hair invisible man oh yeah i guess it's invisible. okay come Sorry. on um i do wish this would open, open and shut that would be really cool um but let's do let's do this we're doing this for sure okay so actually i'm gonna take this head sculpt off for one simple reason his head feels loose to me in there um which is kind of interesting which how do i oh lord don't break it oh oh wow okay those come off really easy really easy there's those feet okay look he's trying to lose it <laughs> he's lieutenant dan Lieutenant Dam. <laughs> or Scump. Oh. But he gets his legs are cut off with the knee. I was going to say he's... Uh, what's the dude from Doom Patrol? Larry? Larry. Larry Trainer. They should uh, make figures of Doom Patrol. They really should. That and Titans mm -hmm. would be fantastic. But nobody listens to me. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, his head is crazy loose, though. I mean... Oh, yeah. But I'm okay with that. Doesn't really bother me. At all. It also might not be all the way on. This one might be my favorite. Yeah. Out of all of them. I just think it looks so cool. They did such... I'm going to make this like his walking stick. So he's like almost like blind, you know? It's Ralphie. Yeah. It's so poisoning. <laughs> if you guys know what that's from, comment below. If you don't know what that's from, uh -huh. where have you been? Um, you know what? I don't even think I'm going to pose him with anything else. Oh, he is so cool. Ralphie! How cool is that, <laughs> Yeah, though? that's really I, cool. I love this thing. This thing is so cool. Um, you can put his staff through his belt in the back, which is cool as well. But I... This is by far the best one. Yeah. I think. They hit this out of the park. Out of all of them. I mean, I like the Frankenstein, the Mummy. Sorry, I'm looking at them all. Igor is probably my least favorite out of... Or Hunchback. Sorry, he's not Igor. But um, out of all of them... but. This is fantastic. This just looks so clean, so cool. I'm digging it. This might be one of my favorite figures I've opened. I mean, it's cool. It's really cool. I didn't think... I think the Spider-Man is fantastic. This thing is even better. So, really cool. I love just everything they give you, too. I mean, look at all that. I have not done anything with any of that. And he still looks great. So... There you have it. Boom. Donnie. Universal Monsters. Definitely get that. Fantastic. Spider-Man had a wild night last night. Um, Mezgog. 
is actually really cool as well. And these VHS Power Rangers, which is really awesome. And then again, our signed stuff from Johnny Youngbosch, the man himself, which he is such an awesome dude. And I'm so happy I got to meet him. Boom. And he liked my tattoo, guys. He, he did. really did. So, um, so yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm stoked. I like, honestly, just don't even know what to tell you guys because I'm, I'm pretty excited. These are okay. Like I've told you before. Um, he's really cool. I do wish he, maybe he had something else, but the fact that his jaw moves is, is fantastic. This Spider-Man is really cool. I'm pretty happy. I'm really glad I got it. I wasn't going to, but I'm really glad I did. And this thing is a 10 out of 10 for me. Honestly, the only bad thing about this is how restricted his legs are. Mm -hmm. That is it. But I just, I'm seeing the light come off of his translucent hands and it looks so cool. So, um, yeah, that's, that's it. So again, uh, we will announce the winner of the giveaway tonight on Instagram. So stay tuned for that. Um, you know, follow us on Instagram link is in the description below. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. You guys are fantastic. We and love you guys. let's wish Collector B a happy 32nd birthday. Old man over here. What, what? Thanks. Uh-huh. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> it is my birthday today. The wife is amazing and always just lets me drop the money at Comic-Cons for my birthday. So she's fantastic. Um, you guys are fantastic. We love you guys. Really appreciate it. Nobody came up to me to ask for my autograph at Comic Con. I'm kind of so upset stupid. about that. I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, but yeah, super awesome. You guys are fantastic. I love you guys. Uh, keep watching us. Keep doing you. Comment, please. I love reading you guys' comments. They're fantastic. Let me know what you guys think about these. Which one is your favorite one? And what piece that we got from Comic Con is your favorite? I mean, there's some cool stuff John for sure. Wick. John Wick. <laughs> That's my dog. But yeah. Um, so again, uh, giveaway will be on Instagram tonight, and that's it. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. Have a fantastic week, and we will see you guys next Sunday. And as always, collectors never stop collecting. Collecting.